Hey guys, welcome to Knocked Outdoors. We're uh, going down to the Snake River tonight to do some bow fishing with Travis Oviet. He's the owner of uh, Grins and Fins Bow Fishing Guide Service. He's actually the only guide service here in Idaho that, that does bow fishing. So pretty cool. Uh, I've only been on his boat once, so it's it's a pretty neat little setup. I haven't had the chance to get out of them as much as I want to, so pretty excited about tonight. Um, it's a pretty special boat. It's a Tracker 2072. Um, it's a pretty slick little setup, so I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, probably the only one I've seen like this. Um, but bring it down here, give you some uh, ideas on, on how this boat's built in case you're looking to build your own boat. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys a lot more a lot more content on on different styles of boats and uh, different uh, brands and way things are set up and motor types, a bunch of different stuff. So stay tuned. Um, we'll go over his boat tonight, some of the gear he uses, his setup, what he likes, what he doesn't like. Um, hopefully give you guys a better understanding of how stuff works. So when we get down here, um, I'll see you guys on the boat. All right, guys, so we're on board here. Uh, again, Tracker 2072. Uh, he has the Mercury 115 on it uh, on the back of the boat. Predator, 2,000 watt, two of them. Love these generators. They run actually really, really good. Um, Harbor Freight, cheapies, but they're awesome. They run good. Um, I will say the 115, great motor. Uh, boat runs about 33, 34 miles an hour with four guys on it. Um, with just him and his wife, the about 36, 37. Uh, he will say that he wishes he went to a 150 rather than the 115. Um, when he bought this boat, though, it was at a sportsman show. It just it was what they had on it. They didn't really have a, a, an option for it, so he just bought it. Got a screaming deal on it anyway, so if he wants to upgrade later, he's going to. Um, again, platform three feet off the top. Um, really cool. You can see everything from up, up there. Um, night, day, it, uh, it helps a lot. Uh, let's go to his bow. Shoots a lever action bow. Great bow. Uh, muzzy reel. Uh, butterfly braid from Matt Carlson uh, at Car Cartel. Night Fury shaft with a four barb TNT extended ferrule tip. Um, again, it's a pretty standard little basic compound bow with a muzzy reel um, and a TJ, TJE shoot through rod. Again, Night Fury shaft with a four barb TNT on it again matt carlson carp cartel he carries all this stuff um he, he has it always in stock he's he's really good about shipping to you guys i mean shipping cross country down south and everything just a couple days and he gets it out to you guys he's really up touch in touch with you guys and, and he gets it done pretty quick so um as far as as complaints with this boat i mean he he doesn't really have any the motor that's it um the boat itself 2072 platform is is very sturdy very good uh, as far as as far as um, weight distribution and, and everybody jumping around and stuff. Four guys on the top deck. Um, it, it doesn't hardly hardly move at all. So uh, we're gonna get out on the water. We're gonna shoot some fish. Um, it's him and his wife tonight. Um, I'll be filming, shooting a little bit. But uh, again, this is Travis Soviet's boat with Grins and Pins Bow Fishing. And uh, yeah. It's the next day. I stayed up till about three o'clock in the morning and the GoPro batteries died and it, it didn't end well. So we shot a few fish though and and uh, it was it was a good it was a good night though. It was still a lot of fun. Water was low, murky, um, so it made for its own challenges. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Travis's boat was pretty cool, pretty unique as far as how high the deck is off the boat and everything, and it makes it really easy to 
to see those fish and, and get on them. Um, I'm gonna be bringing you guys more videos of uh, my boat, which is an 1860 tracker with a 250 jet on it. Um, we have a bunch of flat bottom boats up here, bass boats with bow fishing decks on them. So I'll, I'll try and get all those all those boats on films and, and, and hope it kind of helps you guys build your own boat or if you're thinking about building a boat, which boat is best suits you and your needs. So uh, up here in Idaho, we do we do a lot of things outdoors uh just regular just jet boating trips to fishing trips bass fishing sturgeon fishing all that stuff um elk hunting deer hunting so if you guys want to see any of that stuff let me know i'll get all on film for you guys uh it's my first video so don't beat me up too much in the comments down there uh and like i said i'll try and I'll try and give you guys the best content i can um just living the idaho life so be safe guys and uh i'll see you on the next one